Hey guys, this is uh, Toby Ennis with Garage Prospecting. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be processing a package of Beach Miner pay dirt from uh, Bering Sea Pay Dirt, the company that Emily Rydell owns or probably partners with with her husband, uh, Alex. It claims to have one half gram of real Bering Sea gold guaranteed, which is uh, what I like, uh, but that's their uh, without knowing how bad or good I am at this whole uh, sluicing thing, panning thing. So it's up to me to see if I can get a half gram out of this package. Along with the package came some nice stickers, be a gold miner, adventurous, independent, unemployable, and uh, the Bering Sea Pay Dirt logo uh, sticker. I'm going to put those on my wash plant. And then there's this uh, piece of aluminum. Uh, kind of the size of a credit card or a business card. I certify that this gold was recovered from the bottom of the Bering Sea via the MV Eroica at great danger to the lives of my crew and by the strenuous exertion of their hands. So the first thing I want to do is weigh it, see how much we have to start with. I'm going to use our handy dandy postal scale for that. And what we have is six and a quarter ounces. So um, I would say about a third of a pound, I guess. And out of that, we're going to get a uh, uh, half gram. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to move these out of the way. So see what we got. They do have the foil wrapper with the, uh, as you can see, that ziplock kind of thing. I'm not a big fan of those, so I usually just cut them right below there. That way if there's anything in there, I can pull it out. So it looks like a Nice mixture of material. Wow, there's a whole bunch stuck in there. So normally I would wash this out uh, with a spray bottle, but I'm not ready to get this wet just yet. So I'll probably brush it out. The things that are white in there are not gold. I do see some small, very small, fine gold flakes. Um, so let's see if we got any magnetics in it. A little bit, not much. So I was planning to run it through the uh, mining magnets dry magnetic separator, but I don't think I'll have to do that. Usually you'd expect more uh, out of it, so I wouldn't do it for just this. The white material, I'm going to guess is uh, calcite or, or calcium uh, that comes from shells, from uh, sea animal shells, because that's uh, from my old Sand, world sand project days, that's what they identified as uh, then. All right, so here's my plan. Uh, because we do have some very fine material in here, I'm going to run it through uh, three classifiers a 10 mesh, a 20 mesh, and the uh, 30 mesh. I plan to take the plus 10 and just pan that, this stuff right here, that it, and it may go through it for all I know. There might be some uh, items, we'll wash it, and uh, we will check to make sure that uh, there's nothing in there of any great value. The minus 10 or plus 20 uh, will go into the sluice along with the minus 20. I was planning to run the minus 20 through the um, dry magnetic separator, but there, I don't think there's enough uh, magnetics in it to be worthwhile. And then the uh, minus 30, uh, I'm going to put through a blue bowl. That's a real fine stuff. So we're going to put that through a blue bowl. So most of it will go through the sluice. 
Uh, some of it will go through the blue bowl uh, for the finer material, and that way we'll see if we have uh, anything worthwhile. At the end of this, she claims a half gram, but again, that's not up to her, that's up to me. So let's see if we can get a half gram of gold uh, out of this beach miner pay dirt from Bering C. Perry pay dirt. Thanks for joining me. All right. Here's what we look like. Very, very fine material, generally very little in the way of large material. So what we've got is a 10 mesh, 20 mesh, and 30 mesh. So we're gonna just dump it in here and give it a good shake. And as you can see, not much stays up on top. We'll look for some big stuff there. So, is there actually anything in the 10 mesh? So that's the 10 mesh. I don't see anything worthwhile in there. You guys tell me if you see it. I'm pretty sure that white material is uh, shell material. Uh, since it was uh, collected from the beach, it is very possible that that shell material washes up on the beach. And I don't see any uh, gems or minerals in there. And it looks like most of it went through the 20 mesh as well. And as I said, I'm, I'm not gonna be using it anyway but the plan for the 20 mesh was to put it through the magnetic separator. And I think that stuff, whoa, there we go. There's a couple of pieces. Well, there's a bunch of gold in there. So uh, let's see if we can pick those out. What am I gonna do with this? Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the 10 mesh since it didn't go any place. So I'm seeing, Well, it looks to me like a lot of that half gram might end up in the, uh, might have been caught by the 20 mesh. I'm gonna get my tweezers here. I think that's gonna need to find tweezers. See if we can pick those out. Give me a sec, I need to find some to put these in. They're flat, but they've got texture to them. So this was caught in the 20 mesh. You know what I'm gonna do guys? I'm gonna turn this off for just a sec because uh, I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I'm not exactly the steadiest person in the world. And I'm not sure I've got the right set of tweezers here. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, so this was unexpected. Might make my job easier. So this is, what was in the plus 20 material. That, that was the plus 20 material. This is the plus 30 material. Now the plus 20 material, I found 12 gold flakes, seeable. I don't have the best eyesight in the world, but I was able to pick them out with uh, tweezers. And that totals, uh, well, it's been fluctuating, but we'll call it 22.22 grams. So that's 22 hundredths of a gram. A uh, half gram would be 0 0.50 of a gram. So we're 40% of the way to our half gram before we've are, are either sluiced or panned or anything else. So I'm pretty impressed with that. This is the plus 30 material and I don't know if I can get it close enough so you guys can see it, but those shiny things there are gold. I probably won't run that for, for through the sluice, 
I'll just pan that and add it to our take here. What I'll do with the, I think the only thing that's gonna get any business is this is the minus 30 material and I'm probably gonna run that through the uh, blue bowl. Uh, I think that makes the most sense, but it's not worth putting this through a sluice or a um, or the um, desert fox uh, blue spirally thing, as Shelley calls it. So I think the only thing that we're going to be processing today is uh, this in the blue bowl, because we're, like I said, we're 40% of the way there before we add this material here, okay? So uh, I think what I'll do is I'll go get some water and a pan, and I will pan out this material here, and I'll add it to the take right here. Uh, the already, you know, it's up to 0.23, but that's just the nature of these beasts. So, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's pan this, and then we'll blue bowl the uh, minus 30 material. I don't know, maybe we could even pan ah, I wanna try the blue bowl. So, yeah, yay, Emily, well done. All right. Uh, let me go get some stuff and uh, get this done again. All right, let's try a couple of things here. So uh, this is the um, pan that I got from miningmagnets.com. Coulter Young sent it to me, and as you can see, I know it's clear in the light. He embossed it with garage prospecting. It also comes with a 20 mesh screener. Uh, and it also has garage prospect, uh, which I thought was very nice. And he did it in kind of our green color. So this is the plus 20 material that we found all those flakes in. So I'm just going to throw it in here to take a look at it and see if we've got anything of substance before I uh, ignore it. So let's just get it wet. Yeah, they're small. I won't, I'm not going to call them cobble. They're small rocks, so they're they're not going to... If they produce anything at all, it'll be a very fine gold. Uh, but let's see what we can get out of it. It's heavy material. So a lot of hematite, I imagine. Or maybe even uh, sometimes you find uh, tin ores in here. So. Yeah, I don't see anything even yeah, we're just moving rocks around nothing in there all right so this is the and, and those rocks that you just saw were, were produced the uh, 12 gold flakes. This is the minus 20 plus 30 material. And I can see gold flakes in it. Uh, and I don't think it's worth running through the sluice this, this much. So you'll be able to see the gold right away. Look at that. Wow. All right, so I think I'm just going to pull that out with a snuffer bottle and add that, dry it out and add it to our collection over there. And then we can get onto the blue bowl, all right? So I will, I'll, I'll give you another way as soon as I get done with it. Hey guys, so I wanted to take a minute before I went on to dry this out and weigh it. This is the amount of gold I got from the minus 20 screen. So uh, it was real easy to pan, but I do want to point out this pan that I got from Coulter has, uh, it, it was uh, 3D printed, so it has texture to it. And you don't even have to use the riffles, I guess you could, but you don't even have to use the riffles even for that big material that was in this. Uh, and it does a real nice job of collecting it. Before I go on to, um, before I go on to cook it, I'll, uh, I will, um, take a picture, a video close-up of it so that you guys can see that as well. But as you can see, there's a nice 
bunch of gold, I'm going to add that to what we already have and see how close we are to our uh, 0.50 gram or half gram. Uh, and what's left at this point is these are the minus 30s. And so we'll see uh, what those do inside the blue bowl. So it's a relatively easy job uh, with this gold. So I'm very happy with it. Okay, so what I've got here is the minus 10 material. This is the minus 20 material. I put them in the same glass beaker. I'll give you a close up here of what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour them both into the uh, black weighing scale thing and we'll see what it looks like between the two of them, all right? All right. That's what we've got now between the minus 10 and the minus 20. We have uh, 0.35, 35 hundredths, 35 and a half uh, hundredths of a gram. We need to get to 0 0.50. So I'm hoping that the other 0.15 grams is in that uh, minus 30 material that we're going to put into the blue ball. But that's pretty good headway. I mean, that's ch pretty chunky material. So, and it didn't take a lot of work. It panned out very quickly. Okay. All right. Blue bolt is set up. I'm going to put the material. Now, this is the minus 30 material. I'm going to put it around. Oh, you know what it needs right now. Right now, I don't want anything floating around, so let's put a couple of drops in here and a couple of drops in there of jet dry so we don't have anything floating around. All I'm going to do is pour this around the outside here. All right, so uh, this is the first time I've used the blue bowl. So I'm uh, kind of following the directions that come along with the, uh, the instruction set that comes along with it. So um, let's see if we can get this to work. I'm actually using the power supply that I got with the Desert Fox gold panning machine, or Shelly calls it the spirally blue thing. So the idea is to get the water level What you hear dripping is the connection Let's see if I can get a shot of that so 
I'm not sure if uh, so I don't know if it's me or something that I I didn't do right but it seems to get the water level up fine the material is moving as you can see and what we're looking for apparently is something that looks like a sawtooth all right this is the point at which I'm going to speed everything up so you guys don't have to uh, hang around for all of this but material is moving very nicely there seems to be some gold very fine stuff along the outside edge over here right along here see it I'm going to give it just a little bit more water because it's supposed to be within half inch of the top of the bowl And, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but the, uh, the uh, non-gold material is climbing up the side of the drain hole, I guess is the best way to describe it, and it's leaving the gold on the outside. All right, so I'm looking at my watch. That took 11 minutes and 55 seconds from the time that I turned the camera on. Let's see if we can get this stuff to move around here. You know what? It would be better with a brush. Let's see if I can do this without losing gold here. Well guys, we're looking for about 0.15 of a gram, 15 one hundredths of a gram 
and there is some fine material in there, but it's mostly chunky. I'm going to get a close up for you here. You'll hear the camera go on. Let's see if I can do it angle without the light. No, can't. All right. So there we are. So that was collected from the minus 30 material that I thought I'd check out. All right, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of panning to get this out. Um, and in order to do that, I've got to clear this. So let me uh, turn you guys off here for just a little bit and I'll get back to you when I've got this in, uh, in Coulter's uh, 3D printed pan. So since I know you guys would ask, if not in the room, in the chat room, in the comments, I did pan out the tailings from the bucket below the, um, the blue bowl. And I did get a couple of really tiny specks. I'll see if I can show them to you close up. I don't even know if I can do that, they're so small. So there's one there and there's one there. Now there's some shiny stuff down here, but at this point it's hard to, there's so much of it, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble telling whether it's gold or mica uh, because it's not, it's not responding to the tapping or anything like that, but I uh, just wanted to make sure it wasn't too big. I hadn't lost anything from the blue ball. Oh, there's another one, that's not bad. So lost a little bit, but not a whole bunch, mostly small stuff. So the next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna save that because I wanna get that little, one that I could see out of there. So this is the material that came out of the blue bowl. And um, it's got some black stuff in it, but let's see if we can clean it out. So this was minus 30. This pan that Coulter prints, uh, 3D prints, is very cool uh, because it, it it's like having a a pan that you've. Uh, where the light on? Hold on. Let me get a shot of it for you here. So it's like having a pan that you've uh, seasoned uh, because I don't know whether you can actually see them, but it's got kind of ridges in it, but it's got, it's rough on the bottom as well. So I'm gonna zoom in here, let me zoom in a little bit. So this is what came out of the um, minus 30 through the blue bowl. So I'm gonna cook that up and uh, we'll add it to the scale and see what we've got. All right, time for the final tally. I'm gonna shoot a little bit of close up with my video camera, with my uh, phone camera, so you guys get a sense of what it looks like in the container. And it's supposed to be a half gram. If it isn't, I'll take the blame. Uh, it's my, uh, blame it on my lack of experience. But we'll keep trying. Let's weigh it out, see what we've got. Well, they promised a half gram and we got 0 0.506.
six thousandths more than the half gram promised. And it's good looking gold. So uh, thank you, Bering C. Paydirt. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, baby Evie, for this fine gold. All right, guys, that's it for this time. We'll see you again next week.